Hello, Craig here from Eagle Eye. Today is sign word of the day and it's brought to you by the letter F and we're talking flatbed printing. What's the difference between flatbed printing and roll to roll printing? What's its pros? What's its cons? Let's dig in. So, if you saw my last video in the last newsletter that went out, you would have seen the little nugget that I dropped that, well, we have two flatbed printers here now, Jedi 1 and Jedi 2. Now, what's the difference between flatbed printing versus roll-to-roll -roll printing? Well, the best, best thing I can do is show you this example of this sign. That's a typical Coroplast sign that we do a lot here, and we can still do them this way but let me explain all the work that's in it. This is kind of the pro and the con. See, if we're roll to roll printing this, well, I've put on a roll of material on my Epson back there, I've printed this image, and then it comes over to my production department that in turn cuts out the graphic, and then they have to mount it to this substrate. And then, well, if they're double side, we're doing it two times. Here's the pro of a flatbed printer. I now laid the substrate on the printer, like the one you see behind me, and we print direct to the substrate. Now, what's the differences in the inks? Well, this one was printed with my Epson Ecosolvent ink. As a lot of you know, I love my Epsons. They print great. The ink does hold up pretty good. And for a yard sign, it holds up great. Non-laminated, by the way. UV, flatbeds are mostly all UV, so you got some UV inhibitors, so the ink's gonna last a little bit longer, but it's only gonna last as long as the substrate lasts, and well, if you're putting it on Coroplast or PVC, we know those aren't permanent substrates. So the pro to having the flatbed printer is that, well, we're, we're printing direct to substrate versus the con of, well, we've got a lot of labor, a lot of time, and uh, work to make that sign. So the ROI, or the return on your investment in while investing into flatbeds, is a great return in the sense that you've cut out labor, labor, time, and went straight to doing a print and then just a small amount of production time to get that sign ready. Now, the, like I said, there's pros and cons. I'm gonna tell you some of the things that I ran across while I was putting in these flatbed printers. See, these flatbed printers, while I got a great deal on them, they incur a lot of cost that a lot of people I don't think uh, calculate. For example, just the electrical service to get in here for these two machines cost me almost $6,000. And I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of electrical over here. There's almost 100 amps in this machine, and there's almost 100 amps over there. I had to run those. I had to put in special uh, shutoff switches, I had to put in a transformer, I had to put in extra wiring. It's a lot. And that's before we could even plug the machines in. And so that would be a con against that flatbed, whereas a roll-to-roll -roll printer, well, most Epsons pretty much get them out of the box, put them together, plug them in, they're ready to go. So flatbed printing versus roll-to-roll -roll printing. There's some great pros and cons, and I could make this video even longer talking about all of it, but the biggest pro is having a flatbed you can print direct to substrate. Speed is a lot faster. I'm printing four by eight sheets over here in about seven minutes. And that will get cut down into, well, some signage. Whereas this, the roll to roll printing over here, well, it would take time to print and then time to cut and then time for labor. And as we all know, time is money. Well, there you go. Sign word of the day brought to you by the letter F. A little comparison of flatbed printing versus roll-to-roll -roll printing. Plus, I wanted to reintroduce again Jedi 1 and Jedi 2. Well, as always, thank you for your support. Follow us on eagleeyesigns.net. Hit the like and subscribe button. Let us know how we're doing. We always enjoy the feedback. And like I said, thank you for your support.